Welcome back to my animation channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how I use OpenTunes to import my templates from, from the Walk Cycle course. And then we are going to look at how I create the characters around them. And the emphasis is showing how easy it is to use these templates to get your characters walking easily and fast. So the first thing we want to do is log into the Walk Cycle course and go down to the template section, have a look through the various Walk Cycles that are there and select the ones you want to use and then go across to the download section and select whether you want to have it walking left, right, right, left, bones, bones, body, etc and download it. Um, it'll appear in zip files on your system. Open your animation platform and just import them. Here on OpenTunes it stacks, well it puts them across in 24 columns. There's 24 per work, walk cycle and you just sh shuttle them across into one column and you're good to go. Once you've imported the templates into your animation program it's just a matter of tracing off the templates. Here we've used the body and bones combination. I like seeing the bones uh, for later when you're actually applying bones to the mesh, to the plastic. And I also like having the body because that gives the outline quite clearly of the character. So the templates really make it um, simple to set up your keys. Um, you don't have to do all 24 frames, it depends how you're animating this, but um, everything's set up ready to go and it's just a matter of tracing your character around it. So in this instance in OpenTunes I'm using plastic to animate this character. What I've done is put every all the body parts on different layers or columns and uh, it makes it easier to use a plastic tool which we'll be doing shortly. So separate all the body parts. We've got the legs left and right on each column, uh, in its own column, and uh, arms, the head, and the body, the core, each in its own column or layer. So once you've applied the plastic tool and all the body parts have a mesh transformation applied to them, we go back and we apply the bones that will control the mesh and that's what we're doing here. The character is set up ready to animate and it's a case of running through the X sheet and you can decide either you want to do it cell by cell or use keyframes. In this example here I'm using keyframes meaning that every fourth frame is a key and I'm just placing the character in its mesh plastic mode every fourth frame so it really takes a lot of the graft out of it, a lot of the work out of it and speeds things up. Another way to um, speed things up and to keep in mind is that you only have to do the one cycle and obviously being a cycle you can just repeat it so you set it up for 24 frames you may only use the keyframes like I did and then you um, just copy those keys down and you just extend it ad nauseum as far as you want this guy to walk. So really speeding up your walking game. Also the time it's saving you to put the walk down, you could be spending coming back to do some secondary animation on the character like we're doing here with the hands and tweaking the head etc etc. So really saving a lot of time that you could be spending in other places. Another big advantage of animating off templates like this um, for something like a walk cycle is that you get to see what the walk cycle will be before you actually animate it which is quite advantageous. There's a selection of walk cycles. Here we are showing just three from the course you get to view the walk cycles before you import them into your animation setup and go through the process that I've outlined and in a very short space of time you have your characters walking. 